Hello from ABA Mid-Year Meeting 2017 in Miami, Florida. I'm Lawrence Coletti. And I'm Anna Romanskaya. And we're on the road with Legal Talk Network. And we're back. And sitting with me today, of course, is Anna Romanskaya. She's the chair of the Young Lawyers Division from the ABA and uh, this is, uh, we're catching up with her again. She's a returning guest on our network. I think we interviewed you right when you were taking over from the last chair. Correct. So how are things going so far? Things are going. It's been a busy year so far. We're about halfway through. Uh, this is our official second meeting for the bar year. Our first fall conference was in Detroit in October, and it was a very successful meeting. And Now we're here in sunny Miami, Florida, and uh, excited for all the programs and initiatives that we have going on. Excellent. Well, before we get into those and start talking about them, uh, for our listeners that uh, may not be familiar with you, uh, where do you work? What do you do? I am from San Diego, California. I'm a partner at a local law firm, Stark and D'Ambrosio, and my practice primarily focuses on family law. Excellent. Excellent. So let's hit it. You know, you've been, uh, this is the mid part, uh, mid year, it's appropriate, uh, for your uh, your chair, is it, is it a chairship? I don't know what you got. The chair. You're chairing the ABA. <laughs> My chairship. Uh, your chairship. <laughs> so you've got some projects, and we, we did a little pregame before everything got started, and uh, I know you've got some really interesting things. So why don't we just start from the top? Where do you think we should go first? Well, uh, I think it would be of interest for the listeners to know about some of our, what we call member service projects, and these are our initiatives that are geared for our fellow young lawyers. So our young lawyers' membership is consistent of attorneys 36 and under, age 36 and under, or in five years of practice or less. But it is by no way exclusive to that demographic. So one of the initiatives that we are launching this year is called Growing Lawyers, Growing Leaders. It is a dual training program focused on business development and leadership development. So on the business development side, it's specifically focusing on relationship development And on the leadership side, it's specifically focusing on management skills. So regardless of your practice setting or your practice area, the skills that you obtain in either or both of those trainings can be applicable across the board. So it is a predominantly distance learning type of a training. So we have a website that you can access. It's www.com aba.org slash grow lawyers and you can sign in and it's essentially like taking an online course. You can either go into the business development side, you can go into the leadership development side and kind of choose your own adventure. We have everything from podcasts to blogs to um, discussion boards to more traditional learning methods like uh, publications and periodicals where you can kind of pick an topic and follow that along and the website will tell you if you're interested in in this you might be interested in that kind of a topic and each week we add on new material so we're working with experts in the marketing arena from all across the country that are providing the content it's it's a really really great resource and i encourage everyone to check it out now i know i just heard just now some uh, young lawyers eyes rolling because you know they're they're thinking cle and they're like oh my gosh how many more things do i have to learn so just in terms of time to help everybody set their expectations what in terms of courses you know working through this how long are you looking at what kind of commitment it's really up to you it's your own investment it's again it's a training it's not one that you have to Necessarily, it's not like a traditional online class where you have to sign up and you have to go through, you know, 10 weeks of courses. It's really up to you on how you use it. And we have the materials on there. So if you are looking to perfect, let's say you work in a law firm and you are considering the partner track and you're wondering how to accomplish that from a business development side. So you're thinking, what kind of relationships can I form that are going to make me a viable candidate for the partner track? How do I stand out? So you can go through this training and specifically focus on that piece and get resources on how to do that. Or if you are you know, having issues maybe on the management front where maybe you are trying to learn some effective tips on how to manage your staff, 
and you're looking to perfect skills in that so you can go into the leadership development track and grow your skills in that arena. So it's, it's a really, really great resource. And the cool thing is that in our in-person meetings for the ABA YLD, we have four quarterly meetings. We have programs that essentially enhance your online experience. So if you're taking one of these trainings online and you want to, you know, kind of take it to the next level and you come and invest in coming to one of the YLD's national conferences, you actually get the one-on-one -on -one experience. So for example, at our next spring conference, which is going to be the first weekend of May in Montreal, Canada, we are having a business coach come out and do an entire workshop on how to create an action plan. And then throughout the entire three-day conference, she's going to be having executive coaching sessions, one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions that you can sign up for. Oh, excellent, excellent. So now you've had, I guess, is it roughly six months since you uh, took yep. over? Your, your chairship, I'm going to call it that for <laughs> the rest of the, uh, for the episode. But uh, you've seen it. I mean, obviously, you know, you've been involved with YLD for a while now. And, uh, you know, just, you know, in terms of generalities, like what do young lawyers lack the most when they graduate law school? And I, I know my law school is a great law school, but they didn't teach us how to run a business there. You know, that was certainly one of the things lacking. And, uh, you know, I think when you get out, I, you know, a lot of people are surprised that lawyers don't necessarily know how to be lawyers. I mean, they right. know a lot about the law and they know how to learn, um, how to absorb material and take tests, but, you know, they often don't know how to be lawyers. So in terms of that, what are you seeing lacking right, right when people graduate and getting ready to start their careers? Well, a lot of what we're hopefully trying to, I don't know if cure is, is the best way to describe it, but at least address through this particular initiative is the business development side to know how to build relationships to grow a successful practice, whether you're in private practice, whether you're in the government arena, whether you're in legal education, because relationships are going to be your foundation and ultimately cultivate your reputation. And the same thing on the management side. You know, you're, you're not taught on everything from running a business to managing a staff. So let alone advocating for yourself, you know, whether you're trying to land a client or whether you're trying to get that promotion. So these are the skills that we're trying to, you know, help you develop and achieve through this particular initiative. So earlier, before we started our recording here, uh, you were sharing with me some work that you did. It's not all me, me, me. You guys are doing some uh, pro bono work and some community work through an app that's supposed to help uh, underprivileged at-risk youth, correct? Correct. So we... This year, are focusing our public service initiative on access to education. This is a near and dear issue to my heart because I am an immigrant into this country. I was born in the Soviet Union. And when we immigrated in the late 80s, the whole, well, one of the motivating factors for us to move here was so that my sister and I can have access to an education. And... You know, growing up in an immigrant community, learning English as a second language, my first language is Russian. I experienced firsthand the challenges to, you know, going through school and ultimately finding success, everything from, from language issues to financial issues. So the project that we're focusing on this year, Access to Education, is to address those constraints. And so we are going out and deploying our young lawyers, our 135,000 young lawyer membership to... Wait, how many? About 135,000. That is humongous. Yeah. So we're deploying our young lawyers to go out into their local communities, specifically target ninth graders in underserved, underprivileged, high immigrant communities, and talking to these kids on a one-on-one -on -one basis about the value of a post-high school education. What are the different options? Why should you care? Why does it make a difference to your life? And to impart the message that regardless of your circumstance, regardless of your environment, where you start doesn't dictate where you end up. Talking to the kids about goal setting, we're teaching them what a vision board is, and talking to them to help them identify what their areas of interest are and then how to translate that into a successful career. And it's not necessarily a you must go to college message or you must go to law school. It's literally talking to them about all of the different resources, everything from trade programs to certifications to online courses and military and, you know, the traditional two and four year schools. 
And so in order to harness all of the resources, including the financial piece and how to help these kids navigate, we have developed an app. And you can access the app through the Apple Store. Or What's the app called? The app is called Blossom. Blossom. So if you look into the Google Play or the App Store, you can search Blossom Career App. And the image is a B. It's a white B with a purple background. So Blossom Career App. Excellent. So, um, I, you know, I, I share your sentiments uh, with education and opening up opportunities. And, and I think our country is a great place. You can literally be whatever you want to be uh, in a short period of time. And so I think we're very lucky to be here and, and experiencing that. But you talked about a vision board and it was this exercise. You were describing it to me earlier where you take you know, some of these uh, young people and you have them basically draw up their dreams and help connect them with it. Yep. Explain that concept to our listeners. So when we go out into either the classroom or the community center and talk to the kids, like I said, we try to get them on a one-on-one -on -one level and, and really share with them kind of our path, but also talk to them about their interests and their goals. And a lot of 15-year-olds don't really know how to identify what their interests and goals are. And so as a way of working with them, we talk to them about making SMART goals, right? And SMART is an acronym to talk about, you know, making sure that they're you know, timely and, and smart. And um, with the vision board piece, we essentially introduce them to the concept of having a visual manifestation of your interests and your, you know, your passions. And so if someone is, let's say they like, you know, flying and maybe have considered being a pilot. So what does that entail? So they might put images of, you know, birds or, or airplanes or, you know, maybe cool glasses or, and things like that. And so as they build this vision board, it's literally a visual manifestation of their interest to help them narrow down a path of how to actually obtain it. Okay. So I just have a couple more questions for you. Uh, this first one is two part. So the first part of it is what is the best thing about being part of young lawyers division? Okay. And the second part is, what has been their most rewarding experience for you as the chair for the last six months? Oh, you know, probably the most rewarding, and, and I think for both of those questions, definitely the people that I've had the opportunity to meet along the way. This is my, I think, 10th year involved in the YLD. I'm in my 10th year of practice. I started out in the law student division, being involved in the ABA, and it has just been such an amazing journey. I've met people from all across the world, not just the country, but all across the world who share a passion for making a difference, for, you know, really embodying what the legal profession is all about is ultimately we're in a helping field. We are, you know, I don't want to say at the mercy of, but our, our purpose is to help others. That's the definition of the profession. And so it's really been a privilege to me to see how that translates to you know, my colleagues all across the country and internationally and to learn from them and to you know, grow as a person, both personally and professionally. I absolutely would not be who I am without this experience. So that has been you know, probably the most, the most powerful takeaway. And being the chair of the Young Lawyers Division has been just a true privilege because I've had the opportunity to travel as a result. So I come to different cities, I go to different countries, and I see how, again, my fellow colleagues practice and interact with their communities, and I'm able to learn and grow as a result and then bring that home and you know, make, make changes in my community. And just one last question. So we have listeners, and uh, hopefully there's a ton of lawyers out there listening to us today. We're publishing these in our channels, but also with the American Bar Association. And so if a listener out there wants to get a hold of you, get involved with YLD, how can they reach you? You can email me at aromanskaya. So it's A-R-O-M-A-N-S-K-A-Y-A -A -A at stark, S-T-A-R-K-L-L-P dot com. You can call me. My office line is 619-338-9500. Uh, and if you, that didn't resonate, you can feel free to Google me and all my contact information will come up. You can also go on the ABA YLD site and you can literally Google ABA Young Lawyers Division and under the leadership, I will pop up and all my contact information is on there. 
Well, we've reached the end of the road for today's episode, and I want to thank our guest, Anna Romanskaya, for joining us, and also our listeners for tuning in. And if you like what you've heard today, please rate us at iTunes. We'll see you next time for another episode of On the Road, the Legal Talk Network. If you'd like more information about what you've heard today, please visit LegalTalkNetwork.com. Subscribe via iTunes and RSS. Find us on Twitter and Facebook. Or download our free Legal Talk Network app in Google Play and iTunes. The views expressed by the participants of this program are their own and do not represent the views of, nor are they endorsed by, Legal Talk Network, its officers, directors, employees, agents, representatives, shareholders, and subsidiaries. None of the content should be considered legal advice. As always, consult a lawyer.